Hi everyone what's up? Do you want to learn about the greatest natural language processing library? Stay tuned. Hey guys, NVIDIA just released a new framework to build real-time conversational AI services and I think you should definitely check this out if you are serious about building NLP applications. The framework I'm talking about is called Jarvis and in this video I want to give you a little introduction about it. So I will give you a brief overview about Jarvis and then I'll show you how to get started with it. NVIDIA Jarvis is an end-to-end -end application framework for multimodal conversational AI services that delivers real-time performance on GPUs. So in this description, there are two things that stick out, multimodal and real-time, and I will show you what this means in a second. First of all, why am I sharing this with you? So NVIDIA reached out to me a few weeks ago and gave me early access to this framework and I was able to try it out already. And I have to say I'm really impressed with this and I wanted to share this with you because I think you should really try it out if you want to build advanced conversational AI applications. With this, you can build many different types of applications, for example, automatic speech recognition, natural language understanding and text-to-speech applications and even computer vision tasks. So you can work with text, speech and even images here and that's the feature of being multimodal. And for all these applications, we get real-time performance, meaning all tasks can be performed in under 300 milliseconds. Now before I go into more detail, let me actually show you two real example applications. Well, if you like, I can set you up with an optometrist to get an eye exam. That would be great. Okay, no problem. Uh, we'll, we'll get you started with that. Um, I see Dr. Lee's office is close to your home. Uh, she's really well rated in our network. Is it snowing in Chicago right now? In Chicago, it is currently not snowing. I'm actually planning to visit there. That sounds like a lot of fun. What else are you planning to do while you were there? So I think this is really cool. And yeah, how does this work? And what exactly can you do with this framework? So imagine you want to build such an application. For example, a virtual assistant must include all those steps so first you have to process the audio and do maybe feature extraction and then decode it to get the text. Then you have to apply the natural language understanding tasks. For example, you want to classify the intent of this um, question to provide an answer. Then you have to get an answer and then you have to convert the text back to speech. So you do a speech synthesis. And all of this has to be in under 300 milliseconds. So this is really challenging. And NVIDIA Jarvis can do all of this for you. So the Jarvis framework includes several different services that we can see here. For example, we get a service to do the ASR, the automatic speech recognition tasks. Then we get services for the natural language understanding and we get a service for the text to speech conversion. And yeah, all of these different services can be used. And I show you how to use such a service with a very simple Python API later. And next to those services, you also get pre-trained models. So think of this, when you want to have a chatbot that performs really well, then you need thousands of training samples and also thousands of hours to train the model. And a lot of times you just don't have that. So what's your next best bet? That's transfer learning. So you take a pre-trained model, which is usually a very general model, and then you fine tune this for your specific domain. For example, you want to have a chatbot that understands medical terms, then you can go ahead and take a base model from Jarvis, fine tune it with your own data, and then easily deploy it with one line of code again. And then you have your domain specific model. And yeah, these pre-trained models in Jarvis are not just some pre-trained models. So these are actually state-of-the-art models with over 100,000 total training hours. 
And this is huge. So in my opinion, this is a real game changer when you want to build really advanced AIs. And this fine tuning can then be achieved with either the NVIDIA Transfer Learning Toolkit, TLT, which is a zero coding approach, or with NEMO, this is an open source package to create optimized models with PyTorch. And if you want to see an actual tutorial where I do this with PyTorch, then let me know in the comments. So here I will show you a quick example of fine tuning with TLT. So this would look something like this. In the terminal, we just used the command TLT text classification fine tune and then give it some parameters and also the paths to our new training and validation data for our specific domain. And yeah, that's all that we need. Okay, so now let me show you how we can actually use those services. And for this, we start a Jarvis server, which is the backend that serves all the services. And then all services are available via gRPC. So on the client side, which can be our Python application, we create a gRPC connection, send a request to the service we need and then get a response. And that's actually pretty simple. So let's jump to the code and have a look at how we do this. First of all, we import NumPy and gRPC. Then we import the Jarvis modules we need from the Jarvis Python API. Then we create a gRPC channel. And in this case, the endpoint is just our local host where we have our Jarvis server running. Then in this example, we create a Jarvis text to speech service and give it the channel. Then we create a text to speech request and specify some parameters for this request. For example, the text and the language code and some more. And then we simply call this Jarvis service by saying Jarvis TTS synthesize with our request. And then we get a response. And in this example, for example, we can convert this response to a NumPy array and then work with this data on our client side. So yeah, that's all we have to do to get this running. And all right, so that's a rough overview of how Charvis works. And on top of that, we also get easy deployment with one click. So that's really an end-to-end -end framework. And I think this is really great. So let me show you how to get started. And before we do this, I have to say a word of warning here. So the entry barriers to get this running are relatively high. So you have to have a decent system with a decent, fairly modern GPU. And right now this is only working on Linux. And there are also a few steps you have to do. But once you've managed to set this up, it's actually pretty easy to work with it. So let's do this. All right, now let me show you how to get started with this. And for this, I recommend to visit the quick start guide. I will put the link in the description. And the first thing you want to do is to check the support matrix to see if this is actually running on your system, because as I said, the requirements are quite high. So as an operating system right now, only Linux is supported. And then um, you need to have a proper GPU model. So all of those architectures are supported. Then you might need a microphone to test the speech recognition, for example. And then you also need a high amount of GPU memory. And I think this might be the biggest issue for most of you. So to use all those services, you need 16 gigabyte of GPU memory, and this is really high, but you don't need to use all of those models. For example, you can only work with NLP and text to speech, then you might only need four gigabyte of GPU memory. Then as the software requirements, you need the latest uh, CUDA version 11. Then you need Docker and also Nvidia Docker. Then for deployment, you need Helm charts and also make sure to install the latest drivers. So this is really important. Otherwise it won't work. So yeah, once you have checked this and think that this is working on your machine, then you can go ahead. And the next thing you want to do is set up a NVIDIA GPU cloud account. So for this, you need to have a account, but I think if you already created a NVIDIA developer account, for example, to install QDNN, 
then I think this account works as well here. So you need to log in on this website and install the command line interface. So in this example, you select your Linux version and then you grab this command, then this command and then add it to your path. And before you say ngc config set, I actually recommend to create a API key first because you need this as well. So for this in your upper right, you create, you click on setup and then generate API key. And then again in the right, upper right, create on generate API key and confirm. And then you will see a API key. And after that, you um, execute this ngc config set and this will ask you to enter an API key and then you can just copy and paste this. And then you can always use this and don't have to use the or type in the key for every single command again. So yeah, after you have set up your ngc command line interface, the next thing you want to do is use this ngc and download all the files for Jarvis. So you can do this, do this by um, executing this command. Um, this would actually download all of those files here. So these are just a few files that will pull the Docker images and start some Docker containers, for example, to run the Java server and then also run a Java client with some example scripts. So yeah, after downloading the files, you want to CD into the directory and then as first script, you want to execute the Jarvis init script. And make sure to have enough space for this because this will pull the required Docker images and also downloads the pre-trained models. So this will be many gigabytes large. So you can also um, edit the config file and maybe not include all models. So let's have a quick look at the config file. So in here you can, for example, configure the GPUs to use if you have multiple different GPUs available. Then you might change the Jarvis model location. So this is where all the pre-trained models will be stored then. And here you can include or exclude all the models, the pre-trained models that should be downloaded. For example, for the automatic speech recognition, then for the NLP tasks and for the text to speech uh, service, there are different models. So feel free to modify this if you don't want to download all. And yeah, so I think that's okay for now. So you can also just leave this as it is and then execute Jarvis in it. And after that, you want to execute Jarvis start. So this will start the Jarvis server. And then you can start a client with Jarvis start client. This will execute another Docker container and actually will put you in this Docker container. And from this, you can start a Jupyter notebook and then start exploring some example scripts. So I recommend to actually do this and start with this Jupyter notebook and then start exploring those notebooks. All right, so here I have this notebook open and then you can start exploring this. So here we just get a YouTube video and then here we import the things we need and we set up a gRPC channel and then here set up the different services like I showed you before. And then here for the first thing, we have a speech recognition example. For example, here we have a little audio file that says um, what is natural language processing. And then like I showed you, we create this um, request, then we specify some parameters and then we call the service with this request and get a response. And yeah, so here we see um, from this audio file, what is natural language processing. We get the response and we correctly in the identified the text. And yeah, so yeah, there are several different examples, for example, for the NLP service and also for the text to speech service. 
And yeah, so I recommend to check out this file and play around with this. All right, so that's the first little introduction to the Jarvis framework. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of this framework and if you want to see more tutorials about this in the future. And as last thing, one more thing I want to mention is, to, is the NVIDIA GTC. This is a very big AI conference that is happening in April, so from April 12th to 16th and registration is totally free. So if you're interested to hear about the latest innovations in AI, then go ahead and check this out. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.